morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining me on this podcast on Spotify, Face Economics Podcast on Spotify, as well as our video blog on our um, YouTube channel, Face Economics TV. Um, and I want to, you know, give you guys a quick heads up pertaining to um, one of the presidential candidates, uh, Mr. Robert F. Kennedy, the nephew of John F. Kennedy, the uh, founder of the U.S. Peace Corps, where I have served. Um, and um, I just recently found out that he is uh, basically uh, not being afforded Secret Service protection. And I find that extremely alarming, given that his background, his family background has been, you know, um, plague with a lot of, you know, hateful acts from oppositions and, you know, disgruntled people and hinge individuals um, that have harmed his family. You know, the, the Kennedy um, name in itself, regardless if, if you support their political views or their political affiliation, I believe that they, um, you know, Mr. Robert Kennedy should be uh, afforded Secret Service protection. As you all may know, um, back in 2020, during the US general election, I was a candidate running to represent the state of Virginia in the election. And I'm a no-name candidate, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of people that really got, gained access to my name and in hardly any press or any press at all, I mean, not hardly, but not, not any press at all, uh, covered national press wise, covered my um, campaign. And even that, um, I was still harassed. Matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is I'll show this quick um, video that I made while I was on the campaign trail uh, because there was an unhinged individual that decided to you know follow me around intimidate me and, and overall harass me while i was on the campaign trail as a no-name individual as a no-name candidate so imagine somebody that has a name a uh, political recognition like the kennedys imagine that kind of attention uh from the opposition or from individuals that simply you know, do not like these kinds of politicians or, you know, just based off of, you know, the name uh, recognition. So let me show you this quick, you know, event that took place and then we'll talk further. Uh, I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna just, you know, show you what it's like. It's, it's you know, it was pretty scary. Imagine some, crazy person following you around. You don't know if they're packing. You don't know if they're going to run you over. That You don't know if they're going to hit your car. I mean, as a candidate, you know, most candidates, you know, that have decided to run for office are basically putting themselves on the line and their safety on the line, especially from people that are unhinged. You know, with the size of the U.S. population, there's always going to be that you know, individual that uh, would follow around a political candidate and would try to inflict harm to that candidate or one way or the other, you know, um, either physical harm or verbal harm. But I'm going to show you what I had to deal with as a U.S. Senate candidate, independent U.S. Senate candidate in the state of Virginia in the 2020 general election, okay? So this guy is uh, harassing us. What's your name? What's your name, sir? What's your name? Sir, what's your name, sir? Are you gonna open the window? What's your name, sir? What, can you roll down the window, sir? You're, you're interfering with our activities. Can, can you roll down the window, sir? So this guy, 
uh, it's interfering with our campaign. And So as y'all can see, the guy won't disclose his name. There is no way for me to identify this individual. He just decided to follow me, me follow me around. And luckily, when the cop showed up, they instructed him to leave me alone. Um, I didn't press any charges. I didn't, you know, try to escalate the situation. But imagine someone who has no political name recognition whatsoever uh just because you know the media didn't cover my my campaign the national media and local media didn't really give me that opportunity to compete but imagine me being followed around and harassed uh but with, with, with no form of name recognition okay and, and so i would like to make sure that you know, people would advocate for equal protection to Mr. Robert you know, F. Kennedy due to the fact that his family has been through a lot of crazy, violent crap throughout history. You know, his uncle was assassinated. The same individual who created the US Peace Corps, uh, the agency that I've served in, um, to promote peace, to promote, you know, uh, brotherhood, to promote, you know, cultural interaction, diplomacy worldwide and provide assistance to those that are in need worldwide. Imagine somebody wanting to, you know, snuff off his, snuff off his life. And unfortunately, uh, they have succeeded in assassinating Robert F. Kennedy's uncle, JFK, so I would like to implore everyone, you know, regardless of your political affili affiliation to support and advocate, uh, you know, uh, secret service protection to Robert F. Kennedy, okay, until the election season has been completed. Um, you know, I, I believe every individual candidate, especially at the level of presidential candidate, should be protected in the US due to the fact that we have quite a bit of people and some of them aren't always right in the head, unfortunately. So with that said, folks, uh, thank you for listening to this quick podcast. I just thought I'd you know, make this you know, uh, quick uh, message to be shared with the public uh, to basically support equal protection, um, you know, to all uh, candidates that are advancing in the presidential election this year. Um, you know, I've even heard that uh, somebody had brought a gun in one of Mr. Kennedy's events. And I don't know what transpired or how they managed to find out that that person brought a gun. Typically, what happens is if there's, um, you know, a candidate that is campaigning uh, in public, uh, there's typically what happens is they would have, you know, police protection and those police, uh, you know, uh, guards would check people to make sure that they're not packing heat or anything that could, you know, inflict harm on bodily harm on other people. Um, one time, I, I mean, they, I went to one of the presidential, you know, elect, uh, presidential campaign uh, event, and they wouldn't even let water bottles to the event. I guess, you know, they don't want people being sprayed with liquid that could, you know, be, you know, gasoline or whatever that could be set on fire or whatever. So imagine, you know, the necessity for protection. Um, for these um, candidates that are, you know, uh, looking to serve America and the public, you know, because eventually, regardless of your political affiliation, once the candidate wins office, 
they're going to have to serve you know everyone regardless of their political affiliation so which is kind of counterproductive having you know these democrat republicans you know um headbanging going on i think even individuals that are running for office that are independent independent candidates uh deserve uh you know the opportunity to compete without having to you know feel as if they're not a part of america because they are americans they want to serve america they you know feel that their voice and their solution and their problem solving skills ought to be heard by our country and not be silenced you know by you know special interest groups that are promoting a two party systems in the country in the year 2024. I think every candidate that would like to serve America should be heard and should be entertained off based off of um, you know, their message uh, and, and their capacity to deliver their solution to our country uh, that would help you know, in, improve our democracy, include everybody in our society, be an inclusive society in America cannot overemphasize this enough. We need to be an inclusive society. Forget about this race crap. Um, I've traveled throughout the world. I know, you know, the damages that happens when you isolate people, when you marginalize other people and, and you know, won't give them equal rights and voice in a democracy. And, and we definitely need to stay away from that kind of garbage, America. With this said, uh, would like to implore all my listeners and, and audience and whoever it is that finds our content of value to support and advocate, um, you know, S Secret Service protection to Mr. Robert F. Kennedy. With that said, folks, thank you for listening to my quick podcast. My name is Al Mina, the face economics of author. Uh, face economics concept author, which is the social media, the utilization of the social media platform in economic development worldwide. Uh, thank you once again. I look forward to our next engagement. Take care.